How's it going everyone? My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create line art and illustrator and what tools will make this process easier for you. So for this video I'm going to create an axe. My main color is white and my fill is black. So I'm just going to start off by grabbing the rectangle tool and making a rectangle roughly about this size there I should do. Now grabbing the direct selection tool on the left side of the axe here, I want this to be where the blade is. So I'm going to move the anchors on the top up by 10 pixels and the bottom down by 10 pixels. Just using the arrows here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and copy that down below. And I also want the blade to be more round, so I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. And holding the shift button, I'm going to make a circle about that size there, just getting the center of the circle as close to the center of the axe. And I want to make the fill for the circle transparent so I can see through it. So let's just try and match that up to the center of the axe there, like so. And now selecting both shapes, you want to grab the shape builder tool and holding options on PC or Alt on Mac. Just remove the outside of the axe there and I'll just delete the rest of the circle. So there we are, that looks pretty good. I just wanna add some more detail to the axe so I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and just make a smaller rectangle on the right side of the, the axe there. Like that should do. I know it's not quite lined up there. Alright, there we go. So now selecting all the shapes together, you want to go to Window, Pathfinder, and select the Unite option. So there we are. Now I want to make the handle for the axe, grabbing the rounded rectangle tool. I want to have it just a little bit above the axe there and that looks like a pretty good size. It's gonna right click, uh, range, send it back and make the fill of the blade white. All right, there we are. So that is how we create line art and illustrator using the Shape Builder tool and the Pathfinder tool. I hope this tutorial helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.